What's up guys, the Penthes here and welcome back to another FIFA 23 video. It is 6 p.m. It is Monday. I know you guys missed out the 6 p.m. video for the last couple of days. I was away on holiday with the kids. I took them swimming uh, with Lauren, uh, but we're back now for some more content. So if you did miss it, go to the Clips channel. There's uh, a little recap on there. Before we get into this, do you want to be able to afford to complete new SBCs and test out new players? If so, visit U7 Buy to buy your Foot23 coins. They are cheap, fast, and reliable. And make sure to use my code NEP at checkout for 6% off. And let's have a look at what EA have given us for today. We have got Jovatic Moments card. Four star, four star, high, low. I remember he used to have a card with five star weak foot that was pretty sick. He's got flare trait. He's got good physicals. He's got very good dribbling. Very good shooting and good pace. With a hunter or a hawk on him, he could be quite tasty. He could play striker, center forward, and cam. And with a dead eye, he could be a good cam as well. High, low work rates, four star, four star with six foot tall. I like that card a lot. It's going to cost an 83 rated with a Bundesliga team and an 84 rated with a team league. I tell you what, I rate that. That's really nice. I don't know how many other Hertha Berlin players are there. Haven't they got a fullback in the game that's uh, got a special card? But I like him quite a lot. I think that's a good deal. Um, we've also got the 84 plus times 5 upgrade pack. Repeatable once every 24 hours. The 80 plus player pick is back. And then I guess there's nothing else there. No uh, no tokens today unless they're in... Uh, oh, Future, Future Stars Challenge 8 is there. Got Ivan Romero, a rare gold pack for this Future Stars token. And it's going to cost... 25 chemistry, 65 squad, 5 rares, 4 from 1 club max, 5 from 1 country max. So quite easy to put together there. And then that's it for those. So let's have a look at this. Uh, oh, okay, never mind, it's gone. Let's have a look at this um, 8, 4 by 5 and player pick. The 8, 4 by 5 completable, as I say, completable once uh, per 24 hours. Damn. That's quite expensive, you know. That's quite expensive. An 84 rated squad. I don't even know if I have that available without using like some dumb players, but um, I suppose the 80 plus player pick will help us out here. We need a team of the week as well. Um, yeah, an 84 rated squad with an 85 rated player needed and a team of the week. Like, that is quite intense. Let's have a look. All team of the weeks have I got? We could put Diata in there. Uh, yeah, so I don't even have the rating here. How mad is that? There we go. So this, this 584 plus pack, this better give me some uh, some good yield, I'm telling you guys, because I've put all of my fodder left in into this. I wonder if there's a store pack as well, maybe for a token. What have we got in the store? No, just the same stuff that was there uh, yesterday. So 584 plus players pack. Let me know what you guys get as well. We don't get future stars, but we do get a walkout. It's German. It's centre mid. It's Tony Kroos. Didn't I just put him into the SVC? That's quite lucky, I suppose. Oh, that's awful, isn't it? Holy smokes. 484s and an 88. That is atrocious. That is atrocious. <clears throat> um, and then we have objectives before we look at the player pick as well. Ah, oh, Nicolo Rovella. This is uh, Squad Battles or Rivals. There's another uh, swap token in here. Damn, he looks all right, you know. Score four, assist four using the 82 rated. Play six matches with the 82 rated. Assist three crosses with the 84. Play eight matches with the 84. Score and assist in four separate matches with the 86. Assist two goals per match in five wins with the 86. God damn EA, man. Play 10 matches and play 20 matches. Oh, they just they just make these so unenjoyable to get. Now, this card's like, all right. Four star, four star's really nice. No trait sucks. His defending is crazy. I know his heading accuracy is low, but who cares, right? His physicals are nice. That 97 stamina is super. His defending is crazy. The positioning and shot power is nice as well. Do you know what? Even though it's squad battles and rivals, this card might be worth picking up. He just seems to like tick a lot of boxes, right? Four star, four star is really nice. He can play centre mid and CDM. His base passing in the right areas is good. That short pass, long pass vision is real nice. His agility and balance is all right. His defending is crazy with that 97 stamina and good pace as well. 
with really good shot power and long shots and positioning, which is what you want from your centre mids. You could play him at centre back. He would be a wild centre back. Um, he would be a wild centre back. That it is quite a lot of quite a lot of games to get it. But if you already play squad battles or you already play rivals, you could do him whilst just playing your games. Right? It's not like too too intense. And if you get stuck on doing something like uh, score and assist using him, just go and do it in squad battles for a few games uh, and and get those you know get the hard things done in squad battles and the just playing games done in rivals. And you could also do it with. Um, with uh, Lindstrom as well, if you haven't done Lindstrom already, you can you can pair the both of them together and get them both done at the same time. So that's not too bad. Um, yeah, it's, it's it's not it's not awful. It's not awful. I I, I I quite like the card as well in general. I th I think for me it's the sort of card that I really enjoy because it's a bit different and it has some real unique properties. Uh, let's do the eighty plus player pick though. See what we need to do for this. Gold players, one rare. Damn. That's all right, isn't it? Just one rare needed. We have a rare on the bench. No. Just one rare needed for an 80 plus. Uh, it's only one of two, though. And that's probably why it's only eight players. Let's build like five of these just to see, uh, get a little test for how good these are. And then we're going to check it on footbin and have a look at the uh the, the new player and see what we'd do with him yeah one of one of two is definitely not the best guys like one of three or one of four for this you know for one rare and and eight goals in general would have been real tasty um but definitely definitely one of uh one of two it again comes back to that that situation right where what ea are doing with this sort of thing is because nobody's going to use only untradeables into this spc right people will use tradable cards into this spc and so effectively, even if you get something of high, you know, high rating or something like that, you're effectively changing eight golds for one gold, uh, uh, untradeable gold. So especially if you have, you know, if you put any tradable cards into here, you're just swapping out tradable for untradable or more for less. And, and it's been, it has been like a product of this game in general. This year is like, you know, the SBCs generally give out less than they take and it's always untradable content. Hey, we've been crying out for a place to put some excess fodder for a while. I, I, I just, I'll tell you what I don't understand. I don't understand why things like this aren't available year round. Because, um, you know, the, 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 the upgrades that we've had, the bronze, silver and gold upgrade, the standard ones, they've been the same for like, what, six years since the EA even introduced SBCs. They've been the same. That whole like upgrade or, or yeah, like upgrade section, it just should be filled with a whole bunch of different ways to use your absolute trash and then i don't think people would care if they did or didn't have a duplicate uh, untradeable storage section because every time you get a couple of untradables you could just go and put them into a player pick if they were there year round but let's let's see what we get so we've got an 82 off the first one uh the second one here is coming in with an 83 power torres the third one is going to be coming in with an 80 rated rabio and last but not least yeah and, and and again i probably wouldn't be doing these as a way to try and get cards or or get big big things i would genuinely just be using this 80 plus as uh if you've got any duplicate commons or rares just go and throw them in here because that's going to be the best use for them otherwise i'd go for the future stars academy upgrade obviously you know you get one of three 82 plus okay it's an 82 rated squad but i just think it's a little bit better there and then let's have a look at the player yeah jovatic and ravella now this ravella guy What's his other ones like? So the 82 rated is not very good. Three star, four star, and genuinely terrible. The 84 rated is three star, four star as well, and not too much better. So just good for some fodder. The 86 is three star, four star as well. He's okay, but I, I, I may be in a minority here, but I like this card a lot. Four star, four star, five foot ten. No traits does suck. You pop a shadow on this guy and move him into center back in game. I think it'd be a beast. Super pace, super defending, good dribbling, great passing, and and you know good stam. Ninety one DM on him as well. Wonder what basic looks like on him. Yeah, ninety one DM on the basic as well. Yeah, that with the sentinel man, that's crazy. The anchor as well. I like the anchor, especially if you have him stay back while attacking. The pace isn't like too great or too, you know you don't need like too much pace 
He's then got real good physical, great defending, and good passing out the back. I, I, I quite like this card. I do quite like this card. I, I, I would use him as a secondary DM. I'd have like a full-on defensive midfielder like Vieira, have someone like Ravella sat next to Vieira, and use Ravella as a guy that goes forwards and, and tries to hit those long power shots. We've also got the moments Jovic, 78k for this SBC. I hope this one's upvoted because I know he's tough to link. Ah, it's downvoted massively, man. I know he's tough to link, and that's probably why he gets down, downvoted. Hertha have got Kenny. What was he? Was he an SBC? I don't remember doing him. Li Dong Jun, which you can't get anymore, and Boating, who's on the market for a good strong link there. Uh, so that's not too bad. And then for Montenegro, I mean, it's just bad, isn't it? However, I think this card with a Hawk or a Hunter is the one. See, I like that, man. Six foot tall, 93 jumping, good pace, great shooting. Really well-rounded, dribbling off the bat as well. If you're not like a pace merchant, um, if you're not like too intense on the pace, putting that finisher on him, that's a crazy card. Insane shooting, great agility and balance and great dribbling. 93 rated strike with good pace. <clears throat> if you're more of a pace whore and you like the pace, that Hunter Chem style, 99 acceleration, 95 sprint speed with super finishing. Very good stamina, good jumping and heading. And then uh, good passing for a striker and very good dribbling. That that composure, dribbling, ball control, agility. I think Jovic will be a beast. I, I personally would go for him and, and try and try and uh, have a game or two of him because I think he'll surprise a lot of people. So even though it's quite expensive, uh, no no real other places to put your fodder right now, I'd personally be going for him. But that is going to be the end of the video for today, guys. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.